Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and today I've got some old-fashioned goodness for you. We're gonna remake our video from eight years ago for my delicious chocolate zucchini snack cake. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. update a classic you're gonna start off with two cups of shredded zucchini I have used the fine shredding side of my grater but you can cho choose to do whatever you like two cups of granulated sugar two cups of all-purpose flour two-thirds cup of cocoa powder four eggs one and a half sticks or 12 tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add in a cup of chopped walnuts, a cup of chocolate chips. We're gonna add a teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of vanilla extract. This is so simple, we're gonna mix it by hand. We're not gonna get out any equipment, no appliances, no nothing. This is the kind of old fashioned cake your grandma made, your mom made, and they didn't take out their mixer either. And there's no need for you to do that as well. This is old school and this is how we like it. So into our bowl, we're gonna add our sugar and our butter. Now you can have softened butter or you can have where mine is somewhat melted. So we're just gonna go ahead and get in here with our handy stir and we're gonna kind of just mix this up until it looks like wet sand. If you prefer, you can use oil here instead of butter. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our eggs one at a time. There goes our second egg. Honestly, y'all, I have made this where I just dumped all the eggs in it once and it's fine. Just mix it all up until you get a nice creamy batter. In fact, I'll add the last two eggs just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead, add in my vanilla. There's really no wrong way to mix this cake up. It's one of those really great old fashioned recipes. It's a snacking cake, so there's really no way you can mess this up. I like to add in the salt and the baking soda in here as well before I add the dry ingredients. And now we're gonna mix in the zucchini because it is a wet ingredient. And that's the moist part of our batter. Now I'm gonna add the cocoa because technically, and if you didn't know this, cocoa powder is considered a liquid ingredient, just like sugar is, because once it hits all of those other things, it kind of does turn to a liquid. It melts, yes. Just get everything mixed up real well. Go ahead and add your flour. Whisk that in and you can do all this with a wooden spoon. You don't have to use a whisk like I am It's entirely up to you. In fact, I think I'm gonna switch just get in there stir it all up and Now we've got some beautiful Cake batter, but let's make sure that all of our batter is incorporated and there's no pockets of dry ingredients Now we're gonna add our delicious goodies. So there goes our walnuts and our chocolate chips. Typically, I like to add mini chocolate chips. We don't have any, and that's it. Now I'm gonna grab a spatula, and we're gonna pour this into a nine by 13 baking dish. You can use a cake pan. I feel like you could put this in a couple of loaf pans, but I don't know how long it would take to bake. I would say you would have to keep an eye on. So there's our cake pan. I sprayed it with some oil, and then I took a silicone baking brush, and I spread the oil out. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and bake this for 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean, clean of batter. If it comes out with cho melted chocolate chips, don't be alarmed. But if you see batter on there, you wanna keep it in there for a few more minutes. Depending on your oven, it may take less or more time. I say 25 to 30 minutes, set your timer for 25 and then check it. And at that point, you can assess if it needs more or uh, more time or it's ready to come out of the oven. So into the oven this goes and I'll be back when it's time to take it out. Our chocolate zucchini snack cake was in the oven for approximately 40 minutes. Now, like I said, everyone's oven is going to take more or less time. You'll wanna check yours starting at 25 minutes. It may need an extra 10 or even 15 minutes like mine did. Maybe yours will be done. So just keep an eye on it. Also, a real telltale sign I always like to tell people is if you can smell it, you should check it. And there will come a point where you can start to smell the delicious aroma of chocolate cake wafting through your home. And that's when you should go to your oven and give it a check, even if your timer hasn't gone off yet. Recommend that you let this cool on a rack completely before you cut into it. And we will be back after dinner and we will cut into this and we'll show you what it looks like. There you have it. Our zucchini snack cake is ready to enjoy. It is still a little bit warm. It would be perfect with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top, but alas, 
we don't have any. So we're just gonna enjoy it exactly the way it is. I've cut a nice piece right out of the pan and because we oiled the pan, it came out with absolutely no problem. It's very moist. I mean, look at this, guys. It's so yummy. And with the chocolate chips and the walnuts in there, it's just gonna give it so much texture and flavor. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. What do you think? Really good. Really good. I mean, it's chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. How can it be bad? Really, really good. It's not too sweet, and I've used nice, no. super dark chocolate Dutch cocoa. It's just perfect. It's perfect as is. This is a great lunchbox cake. Perfect for cutting into pieces, putting in the lunchbox. It's going to travel really well, and if you want to make this in advance, cool it completely, cut it into, into squares, and then you can put each square in a sandwich bag and you can freeze them so that when you pack your kid's lunch, your husband's lunch, or your lunch to go to work, then you just grab that right out of the freezer and by the time you're ready to eat lunch, it's gonna be perfectly thawed and delicious. So that's how you make a delicious old-fashioned chocolate zucchini snack cake. I hope that you give it a try sometime soon and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.